Today we will see how to change an Excel sheet to an app. You can go to this website caspio.com and you have to click trial version and register it. I have already registered. After register, you can register with the Gmail ID. Then click login. You go here. See, I have already registered. So it is coming. So now we will start to create an account. So account type, see there are uh, monthly, free and trial. So we will try free version. So data center, I am trying, I will put it in India. Submit. Click this and submit. So this is the Caspio free ID which is available for us. We will try to use this. You click on this, it will take you to the UI apps page. So this is an intro, if you want you can check with this. If not, you can go to online training, you can go to tutorials and you can check. So now we will see just small app, we will just do a create app. So this is start by Importing data using existing data. This is with the blank data. So create a page and uh, interface from the scratch. If you have an Excel sheet available, you can go by this. So now we will try to import file. So application name is company profile. Or Avenius. Profile. I'll have this app name. I'll choose the file so you can go to the corresponding path where you have that Excel sheet. So you can select this and give open. So it has selected this. So we'll see what is there in that file. That is actually it is an Excel file so which has name, employee, destination, qualification, and group. So we will see how it is converted. Click next. So it is preparing your file for the configuration. So click next. So this is a sheet. If you want you can, you have imported something, if you want you can create new See, it's replace up and you can update the design anything you want you can do but for now i'll just use this and show you so you whatever sheet you had there you got it so it's the same sheet what we have created and this data type also you can modify this is number this is all these are text if you want to give date number everything you can select here so for now this will become a number and all these are text so this is how the fields are updated. Come down and then you can give import. So six records have been imported successfully. Now we'll close this. So you have created one page, check this, you can even do all the different views you want. So these are all the views in which you can use it, this is the overview. So now your app does not have any database, if you want to add a database you can add a database here, so six, you can create this. Create data page. So here you can create forms, whatever you want. You can form, submission form, report, calendar. So whatever you want, you can create. Repeat whatever we have created. So you also have demo sheets here. You can select those also. Just 
going with the you can even give restriction access but i'm going with the default one so you can add employee here name like this and then you can give finish so you can see the preview of this so you will get like this and you can give the numbers and you can enter this and submitting so your yeah, submission is successful so that is how we have tried this now you can create a data page one more data page if you want you can create Once uh, you have created the tables, the data pages, now we will try to create the view. So go this side and you click on views and you create view. So how you want to display, you can display sheet. You can give view name also. You want to remove you can remove it and you can add users yes select the table which you want but for us we have only data sheet so we will select only that sheet one and view name you can give if you have a table within that you can create views and only that you can display so that is the op option for this i'm just giving company view This includes employee sheet name. So only whatever is there in the member, it is getting. You can add it. Sorry, in the table, you can include all or exclude all. Whatever you want, you can do. So I am doing include all. I'm giving a finish. So you, here you can see the view. See, well, we have added one extra, right? So that is also added together here. This is the overall view. So then you can create users also if you want. So after doing all these things, main, mainly create a table and data page and views and number of records. Previously, it was six. I tried adding one record, so it became seven. After that, now you can publish this. Make this to make this app accessible to your user. You can deploy each page on this host. So we'll open data page view. We give deploy. You can deploy it. Before that, you can just do a preview and see. So this is what it will be. So you can go here and then. Deploy sheet one web form. Deployment status is enable or disable. See if you this is a JavaScript embedded this link. You see this is the link cd 2 caspiocom that they have embedded inside a JavaScript. So this is the URL. If you want to use, you have to use this URL. This is the iframe sheet. This is the .NET. So this is how you can access these things. Just copy this for a reference. Copying all the Then you can give after enabling you can give close i think it's, it's deployed now you can go to this link and you can view it 
so done so here you can add your data and you can see I'm adding one more data and giving submit so now this should have added so if you are creating one more form to display this then you should be able to see so that is how you can convert so if you want to see this table now you should be able to see eight in eight entries you go to the overview page here so you have eight entries then you have one deployment page also so this is how you can create and you can add views in views if you want to display that you can display you can add more tasks this is a very basic uh, demo of using it and you can even export and uh, all the other things you can add so thanks for i uh, i will just recap it just go to caspio.com and then create a login for you and uh, if i'm going i'll just show you again caspio.com then log in here so so you have to create new account i have already created this is saved in the cloud at in free cloud so you can access this your database is stored there so this is my uh, profile and i have created it if you want to go to this profile you have to go inside this profile and you can see here so if you have deployed you can just go to the deploy page and you can check so this is what we have deployed so you can edit and change the view and properties however you want so single record calendar report so all these things you can add search so that it will display like this like this everything you want you can add it add in the page and finally the what are all the things you have to add is go to the overview create a table for everything you just come here create that's all everything is automated just create an excel sheet and import it in. so it will work for you if you want to add allow users that also you can add it's very simple app see this is how you can i have added it so it is all it will allow me to en enter so if you want anybody to enroll for something you can just use excel sheet and update here and it will update in this sheet so this is eight entries are there already if i want to add one more it will become nine so thanks for watching you can try this